Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Vector Denoise node. So this is going to be a super short one. And we're going to jump into Fusion. I've got some media in here. And uh, we're going to talk about the Vector Denoiser. And this isn't necessarily a shot I would use it on. Basically, you're going to use the Vector Denoise anytime you need to denoise your vector data. And to come up with one single uh, example, there's a million times you would use it. So I'm just going to use this to show you real quick. So let's say we wanted to add, say, uh, motion blur to this. And to do that, we would need an optical flow node because to be able to use our vector motion blur, we need vector data. So if I look at our optical flow node and we go to our vector channel, you can see all of our vector data is there. And if we needed to denoise this data, we could use the vector denoise. So I'm going to add the vector denoise and add that in our chain. And if I go to our vector denoise, by default, it's set at zero, which is basically the same as this being off. Because what this vector denoiser is doing is it acts kind of like a temporal denoiser. So it's looking at frames before and frames after to average out that noise. So right now we're looking at zero frames. But if we need to look one frame ahead and one frame back, we just change it to one or two frames ahead, two frames back or three frames ahead, three frames back. And you can add uh, more numbers if you want. But I'm going to bring this down to two. Now down here, our threshold, what this threshold is going to do is allow you to fix any uh, flashes or odd artifacts that are happening once you start doing this because sometimes it happens um, in this footage there's probably not there is not but if there were i could use this threshold to uh, kind of dial that in to get rid of those weird flashes so if you look at our vector data you can see it is smoothing out but what does this look like on our regular channels we can go back to our color and after this we're going to add a vector motion blur i'm going to go ahead and add that and we'll look at it and if i turn this down to zero this is our uh, original vector motion blur that's being applied but if i start averaging it out you can see it's changing that look So that is the vector denoise node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.